setting up a tension line across the waterway, let's do it. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is find two suitable trees to use as anchors for our tension line. I recommend something around 10 or 12 inches at least to give you enough strength to hold the tension line. Here we are on the first side of the river. Found myself a spruce tree that's around a foot in diameter. This is the first anchor point. There's definitely many ways to set up this first anchor point. I'm gonna show you a few of the ways that I like to use. The first method I'll show you is the eight foot sling. I like it because it's light and easy to carry. Second method I'll show you is with a span set, uh, much larger and bulkier, but also much more durable. When rigging this, I'm using the basket hitch. You could also rig it choke. As such, choking it is gonna lower your strength, but it's also gonna stop it from slipping down the tree if that's a concern. It's also important to pay attention to this rigging angle. We wanna make sure that it's around 60 degrees, which is gonna lower the tension on our sling. If this is too short, this angle becomes too steep and creates an, a lot of tension on our sling. So let's try to avoid that and make sure it's long enough. Final thing we could do is anchor the rope directly to the tree. I don't really recommend it because it will damage the tree. The first method I'll show will be to bowline the rope around the tree. Around the tree. This is nice because regardless of how much tension we put on this, it's gonna untie very easily. Next method would be the figure eight follow through. You start by tying our figure eight in the rope, then take our running end, simply follow that knot back through. Dress the knot when we're done. Very strong knot but can also be a pain to untie once loaded. Method that I'm gonna to use today is the large span set. For no particular reason. I just like their durability and strength if I don't have a long way to carry the gear. So again, we wanna line our anchor up from our tree to the other side of the river. Now what we're gonna do is take our working end, tie a knot. Most people are probably gonna be familiar with the double figure eight on a bite. dress it off but what I like to use is actually a figure nine which I find unties a little easier So how I like to throw a rope is with a alpine coil. We're simply taking a bite, going over a hand, make a bite on the other side, bite on that first side and repeat. 
until we have enough to get across wherever we're trying to get across. This allows the coil to go across, rope to go across with minimal tangling. Again, alpine coil. Our anchor. Here we are on the other side of the crossing to set up the more complicated end of our tension line. This side I'm going to use a sling, double wrap with a basket, a steel carabiner through both slings. Now what we have to add is our progress capture. Basically a device that is going to allow us to pull tension in the line and not lose that tension. In this case, I'm using an ID or an industrial descender. I'll show you some of the other methods that you could use as well. We can have our tension line going through our device. Close our device up. That's going to allow us to pull tension on the line. If that was enough tension for you, which it's probably not, we have to introduce some mechanical advantage to pull tension on this line. So what I'm going to do is set up a three to one or a Z drag. We set up our three to one. We put a basic on the line to pull. Take our tail. Come up through a pulley. Hooked onto a carabiner. Lock off. Push our device out, our basic out. So now we have tension pulling through our device capture. Unlock our device capture and I can pull tension into the line, plenty more, push that out and pull on that, lock our device off, take our pulley and our gear off. The final thing we can do just in case we lose tension in this line for some reason. We'll tie a figure eight or a figure nine or a half hitch with a bite. We'll take our tail, and lock our tail in in case for some reason we lose tension. We can only lose tension to this knot. So a device that's certainly gonna be more common to the rock climbing world would be the guide belay. Uh, works the same way as the ID in that it is auto blocking and it's gonna be a nice, cheap progress capture. We're gonna lock our guide belay into our anchor. Make sure our rope is oriented so the tension is on our little climber. Feed that through there. It's gonna lock that off the carabiner. And we're gonna start to take tension. And in the same way, as you can see, when I pull tension on the tension line, it does auto block. So same idea. We're going to pull as much tension as we can into the line. And that is going to be nice and locked in there. Again, don't really have enough tension there. So we're going to show a little more primitive method to get that V-drag. So this time we'll take some cordage, create a prusik. That's going to grab our rope. We'll take our tail. 
run it through the carabiner. And we can, that allows us to grab the rope, pull tension through our auto block, three to one pulley system. That's a nice tension on that system. Probably close to the same as our ID. The difference here is we have a little bit less mechanical advantage because our rope simply running through our carabiner and losing some friction force there. Again, I'd recommend the same thing with regards to making a little loop. Make sure we can't lose our progress or something did happen to our system. Simply tie it off into it. Lock that off. Now our system, nice and tension. A little more primitive, but much lighter. So the last step really is the good stuff. I'm going to use a trolley on my tension line, locked in, to attach myself to this. I'm going to take my sling, 120 centimeter sling, triple it up as such, lock into that carabiner, lock it off to myself, lock into my trolley. Slowly tension the line. We want to keep our hands behind the direction that we're traveling. That way we don't pinch our fingers. So I think a few reasons that somebody might want to set up a tension line. Uh, first would be uh, a zip line, because, you know, they're fun, they're zip lines. Uh, second would be in case they want to get out in the middle of a river to get some uh, shots for photography. Um, I believe there's a number of reasons, but, you know, figure out your own.